Do you ever get sick of being positive? So much of this world of self-improvement, coaching, this kind of way of thinking where we're trying to make our lives better. We're trying to live better lives here. And a, a big part of that is really in the mindset where we interpret things in a way that is useful to us. So exact same life, exact same circumstances, but two different people can make different things out of it through how they react and how they choose to interpret it. So there is a lot of power in having a positive interpretation for whatever's happening and finding a way to see the bright side. And by doing this, we can live in sunshine and we can shine some more light in our lives. So all of this is valuable, I believe. But it has its limits. There are times when it can certainly be taken too far, where it becomes this kind of suffocating positivity. It's like, oh, you, like whatever happens, oh, just, just cheer up, just look on the bright side, no matter what. Anytime we start to have a negative appraisal of something, it's no, 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 you have to be grateful for what you have, you know. You're, you're wrong if you try to be negative about something. You need to stay sunny all the time. Make that sunshine. It becomes like this requirement that if it's taken too far, it feels like we have to kind of choke ourselves off and just like not allow ourselves to feel what we're feeling. And then we, 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 we see part of ourselves as being somehow wrong uh, and we, you know, we, we label this feeling wrong and then we come up with this whole rationalization, this whole reanalysis of, well, actually it's good, you know, oh, you know, I lost all of my money, but it's actually good because it allows me to have a fresh start, you know, so, and yeah, that's, that's great, but we can't force that kind of reinterpretation. It'd be wonderful to have some of that. But when we have this endless be positive, cheer up mentality, this good vibes only way of looking at life, I find it very understandable when some people would just be like, no more. I can't stand any of that self-help nonsense about being positive and manifesting what you want and all this kind of vibes stuff I just just stop it already and just like it's like this feeling of breaking free when you can finally just accept no I am angry I am unhappy I am not full of sunshine and roses about my situation and there's something very useful about that, I think. Because if this message is taken too far, it, it really just starts to become fake. Affirmations, you know, I love my life, I, I love everything about my life, I'm thankful for everything, I have nothing but happiness in my life. You know, you take that, you, you just keep doing that, and there's like this this divide that opens up between the way you interpret life and reality, you could say, or you know, what's behind it. And we eventually just go into to full rebellion against, against that positivity. So as much as in general, I think having a positive mindset is one of the biggest things, one of the most important things, having a combination of gratitude for what we have and also optimism for what we might have and a willingness to work towards a brighter future. All of that is part of a good life, as far as I can see. But let's not let it become a prison of positivity. It's okay 
to have a bad day, to have several bad days, to be unhappy about some things and just be okay with not being okay. Be okay with a little bit of negativity sometimes. It doesn't hurt to curse and complain sometimes. We don't have to be these kind of abstracted beings of perfect positivity. So if you're having a bad day, have a bad day and do what you have to do to get through to the next day.